Hi. In this short video, we're going to see how to set up thin stack metal conductors and run either momentum or FEM simulations. Shown here is an example from Keysight Labs. It's a millimeter wave thin film filter on 5 mil aluminum. It's often necessary for soldering or wire bonding to have base metals plated onto the aluminum before gold plating. In this example, I will show you how the bottom ground layer consists of a tie tungsten nickel gold plating, and the resonator layers are plated with tie tungsten gold. The same idea applies if your process is printed circuit board and you're dealing with electroless nickel immersion gold plating. Shown here is a filter similar to the one that we were just looking at. I've synthesized this in ADS. It's a five section edge coupled filter uh, with a center frequency about 45 gigahertz. If I open up the substrate definition, you'll see how, how in the current version of ADS we can set up these thin stacked metal layers. So if we look at the substrate, the resonators are drawn on the COND layer with tie tungsten uh, metal and 50 nanometers of thickness. The way you plate the gold on top of that is define the thickness with your, your air substrate layer. So in this case, we're defining a 100 uh, micro inch uh, layer thickness here. And then we're mapping onto that layer this conductor via drawn on PC via one as gold. So we're getting 100 micro inches of gold plating on top of this 50 nanometers of, of uh, tie tungsten. Same thing for the bottom of our substrate stack. We're starting with our, our base 50 nanometers of, of tie tungsten. We now have a air layer defined as 200 nanometers. So PCV at two here, that's mapped onto this 200 micro in this, this uh, I'm sorry, 200 nanometer layer thickness. PCV at two is a nickel plating. And then finally, we have 40 micro inches of gold mapped to this PCV at three layer. If I go back to my layout, you can see that all we need to do is copy over your metallization to the proper layers that are defined in your substrate stack up. So all these resonators are drawn on COND layer. And if I turn on layer PCV01, you can see that they're all just copied over onto PCV01. Same thing on the bottom ground layer right here. There's just three rectangles that are all copied on top of one another. On, onto, the, um, onto these layers, onto COND2, PCV2, and PCV3. Okay, so I've run two momentum simulations, one with the stack up as we've just looked at, and the other one for comparative purposes, just a uh, same, same five mil alumina, but just gold metallization on the top and bottom. And if we look at these results, we can see results that are consistent with what you would expect as you start getting higher and higher frequency. The, the red curve right here is the momentum simulation with just the gold, uh, gold metallization. And the blue here is the momentum simulation with the tie tungsten gold or tie tungsten nickel gold plating. You can see as the frequency increases, the loss is increasing as you'd expect with these thin metals. So that was momentum. If we want to run FEM, let me open up the EM setup view here. When conductor thicknesses are in the order of skin depth, it's advisable if you're going to try to run an FEM simulation to mesh the interior of the metal. We can do this several ways. In EM setup, if I go, if I switch over to the FEM simulator 
and I go over into options and physical model here, you can see there's a, an option here for model type for metals. So globally, I can change that to meshed interior. Or if you go with layer specific, you could also change this on a layer by layer basis to a meshed interior model. If you choose this icon on the top right here and launch this design into EM Pro, defining meshed interior metal in EM Pro is slightly different. So let me open that up. Here's this, this, this exact same design exported into EM Pro. And the way you define meshed interior metal in EM Pro is through the material definitions. So let me just open up the properties here for this, this Thai tungsten material right here. And this is normally off the, by default. Normally, um, normally we're using a surface conductivity correction, but if you if you check this on, um, the interior of the metal is going of the uh, metal is going to be meshed. So that's how you define it in uh, in EM setup and EM Pro. The last thing I'd like to leave you with is a little bit of a uh, teaser for some future capability that's going to be released fairly shortly. Uh, I have some development code uh, on my machine here. And what you'll see uh, in the next couple of releases is the ability to, instead of define these metal layers as conductor vias, if you right click the substrate, you're going to see a new option that says map thick map thick conductor so if you choose that it, it will give you this icon right here and here now you can choose metallization layers as your thick conductor layers all right uh, so stay tuned for that that will be released uh, fairly shortly um, hope this uh, helped and have a great day